Our next story is about China's deadliest intercontinental ballistic missile. A few weeks ago, we told you that China had conducted an ICBM test outside its airspace for the first time in 44 years last month. Well, tonight, we have more information about the kind of ICBM that China has tested and the details are horrifying. Not only has China made its deadliest ICBM yet, it is a weapon that basically threatens its rivals, especially the United States. At first, the missile used in the test was thought to have been a DF-31AG, a variant of a third-generation weapon that went into service two decades ago. Now reports are saying that the PLA has developed an even more advanced kind of ICBM, the fourth-generation DF-41, DF-41 a weapon that can go further and carry more warheads. Here's what we know about the DF-41 ICBM. It was launched in 2017 as part of the Dongfeng missile series. It's a family of Chinese surface-to-surface -surface ballistic missiles. The name Dongfeng reportedly means East Wind. It is inspired from Mao Zedong's speech in 1957 after the Soviet Union transferred its R-2 ballistic missile to help China develop its program. Mao Zedong had famously said, and I'm quoting here, there are now two winds in the world, the east wind and the west wind, quote unquote. First developed in July 1986, the prototype of the DF-41 was reportedly tested in 1994. It was transferred in 2010 to the PLA's 2nd Artillery Corps. It is the branch that oversaw conventional and nuclear missiles. In 2016, this was renamed to what we today know as China's rocket force. Between 2012 and 2016, the DF-41 is estimated to have undergone around 6 to 8 tests. In 2012, its first flight test took place, but no details were disclosed. On October 1, 2019, the DF-41 was first publicly unveiled during a military parade, marking the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. And now here's what makes this lethal. The DF-41 is China's second ICBM to use solid fuel propellant. And what this means is that the weapon does not need to be fueled immediately ahead of launch. It requires less logistical support, making it harder to detect and more likely to survive preemptive strikes. It uses a three-stage engine to reach ranges between 12,000 to 15,000 kilometers. That is an impressive range. It would basically make this weapon capable of covering all of the U.S. mainland with speeds of up to Mach 25. It can carry a payload containing several warheads, each capable of hitting different targets. Just how many, you are wondering? Well, Chinese state media has claimed that the DF-41 can carry up to 10 warheads. But experts have estimated that the missiles could carry around 3 Three versions of the DF-41 are known to be in operation or under development, road mobile, rail mobile and silo based. Compared to its three predecessor ICBMs, the DF-41 is the most advanced. And just compare that with the American ICBM, Washington's only land based ICBM in service is the LGM 30G Minuteman 3. About 400 of the projectiles are deployed in the US. The Minuteman 3 was introduced in 1970. It has similar features as the DF-41, including a three-stage solid fuel engine and an operational range of around 13,000 kilometers. 13,000. Meanwhile, Russia is also developing a new RS-28 Sarmat, RS-28 Sarmat, to replace the Soviet-era R-36M ICBM. It was one of the six new strategic weapons unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin in 2018. It is believed to have the longest operational range in the world at around 18,000 kilometers. In fact, China is considered to have one of the fastest growing nuclear arsenals in the world. According to the Pentagon, PLA's rocket force is advancing its long-term modernization plans to enhance its strategic deterrence capabilities. That plan includes the development of new ICBMs. And the Pentagon says China has doubled 
and continues to grow the number of launchers at most ICBM units. Just for perspective here, in the year 2022, the Pentagon estimated that there were around 350 Chinese ICBMs, including the DF-31 and DF-41. According to Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, China has added 90 warheads to its stockpile last year. Now it has around 500 warheads. It also estimated that within 10 years, China's number of ICBMs could surpass those of Russia and the US. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.